Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Daddy. I'm Grandpa. I'm Daniel. I'm Matt. I'm Aunt Becky. I'm Lauren. I'm Joel. I'm Megan. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. I do. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because we can grow a lot of things on the farm, but one thing we can't grow is this channel without your help. Welcome back, everyone. It's so nice to see you. Right now, we are inside the farm market. Matthew and I got down here early on. We got the floor all vacuumed. We got the tables all cleaned off and we got all the produce put out. Matthew has now moved on to checking greenhouse because we need to make sure that everything has plenty of water. It's supposed to be sunny today, so we could run the risk of drying out if we don't watch our plants closely. And what are you doing here? Are you running the register? The farm market is pretty full, which is what we like to see. Uh, Dad is on his way back from the wholesaler because we are missing a lot of stuff that we're gonna need for the rest of the week. But for now, everything is looking really, really good. Now that we're finished inside the farm market this morning, we gotta move on to some other jobs. I'm just gonna go into our largest greenhouse and check on the girls, and then I'll be heading down to take care of the animals. It's always important to make sure the girls are taken care of, especially when they're working in the greenhouse. There's a lot of heavy lifting that goes into working in here, and we don't want them to have to do that. Oh, let's see, we have Aunt Bonnie down here. What are you working on, Aunt Bonnie? I am tipping back the chocolate mint. Why are you tipping them back? So they branch out and they don't get too tall for the people. And it smells pretty good in here while you're uh -huh. doing that. Unbelievable, it smells so good. So what we'll do with the mint that she has topped off, uh, we'll do one of two things. One, we'll sell it through the farm market. Uh, we do that with a lot of the herbs. Or two, we'll keep it ourselves and we'll make mint tea. So Aunt Bonnie is gonna continue her way down the herbs, taking care of them. And from what I see, they don't need anything moved. They don't need anything lifted. So I'm heading down to the animals. Now I believe Matthew had made his way down here earlier on and was watering greenhouses. We'll see how that's going. I was making my way to the animals, but I saw dad is now back from the wholesaler. So we're gonna run up and help him unload. Shells are a lot fuller than they were this morning. Now we can move on to taking care of the animals. To get started off, I'm gonna work on collecting chicken eggs and dad is feeding calves. Here come the chickens. Now today is technically a feeding day and usually I like to feed the chickens before I collect the eggs. It helps to get them all out of the nest. But today we don't have any chicken feed. We're gonna have to grind some. So I'm just gonna get the eggs collected while I have some time. Good haul of eggs today. It is looking good. The ladies have been working overtime. Just got all the eggs collected and while I was doing that, Daniel ran up and grabbed silage. So the same with the chickens, the cattle just need grain and then they'll be done for the morning. Before we grab some grain for the cattle though, I'm gonna run over here and see how dad's getting along with the calves. The calves have got all of their milk for the morning. We've got plenty of fresh grain in there for them. And now Daniel is going through and giving them all water. Daniel and I just got all the grain dumped in for the cattle. So that means all the animals have now been taken care of. What's up buddy? You are a cutie. So cute. As we move closer into spring, uh, we're running into a little bit of a problem. You saw those calves were over with the other cattle, but the calves in the greenhouse, they're gonna need to be moving out here shortly because we're gonna need to start putting plants into those greenhouses. So over the next couple weeks, we're gonna really have to work hard at cleaning up those greenhouses and moving those calves out. So the only thing left to do to take care of animals is feed the chickens. 
which is what we're kind of working on now. We're getting everything moved around so that we can get our equipment pulled out to start grinding feed. Since we have to get to the feed grinder that we had parked in the back corner, we had to move some of our seed potatoes out of the way. And also grabbing the rest of our ingredients that we needed for grinding chicken feed, we had to pull that out. So with our chicken feed, we try and mix the same batch every single time, especially for our egg layers to make sure that we can keep them at high production. So we've got a bin full of corn then we've also got some concentrate over here. We have some calcium, that way the shells are nice and hard. And then we also have some other things for the chicken's needs. Man, I don't like to brag, but my little brother's pretty good at driving tractors. Don't tell him I said that, because then I'll start to get a big head, and I'll have to beat him up. It just won't be good. But on a serious note, that is actually impressive. Uh, trying to get that 130 with the loader attachment backed into there, and then hook up to a piece of equipment, it's not easy, Daniel. He can be impressive. We've now got the chickens all fed. They were pretty excited about that. We also have two full bins of chicken feed. And since we have the bins actually moved out of the way at the moment, I was doing a little cleaning up. I just got under here swept. I just gotta get a larger broom and get all this cleared out. We've been a little on the busy side, so we haven't had much time to clean up, but I felt like this was a good opportunity to try and get everything pulled away from the walls and try and get as much cleaned up as possible. So we're gonna grab a large shovel and then get the rest. much better we got our little area here cleaned up and we also got our bin of chicken feed put into place while I was cleaning up Daniel got the feed grinder put away we also got our large truck put away so now that we're finished with grind and feed we can move on to a new job and the new job kind of involves the greenhouses it mostly involves space in the greenhouses as many of you know we like to use our greenhouses over winter as an area to put calves but as spring is arriving we need to start moving the calves out of there now this area was where we had a lean-to and we had put calves in the past, um, but someone kind of smashed it with the skid steer loader. It wasn't me. It might have been the guy who's really good at backing up the tractor. But we won't say names. We won't say names. Uh, we have been using it as an area to store round bales. And when we take all the plastic wrapping off the round bales, we've been putting it in this area. So what we're gonna be doing is fixing our lean-to today 
getting all this garbage cleaned out of here and just making it a space to put calves again. So Daniel just informed me we're not working on this right now. What are we doing, Daniel? We're working on that roof. That one, over there. I can take some more. Just take that, I got this. Have you ever been up on the roof? I don't know. Well, this is the barn roof. Look at that view. Ain't it gorgeous? Besides it being gorgeous, uh, this is our culprit right here. We had a clear piece of plastic break from the wind, so we're gonna replace it. Dad, why don't you feed that thing? barn I'm walking on has been here for a very very long time and then this is where we put the new section of barn on and one of my favorite things to do while we were building this section of barn was to stand up here just look at the view it's awesome all the cattle are heading out to pasture it's nice to see that there's just something about being on top of a barn that just feels good Now there are a few things you need to be careful of when you're walking on top of this roof. Uh, not because it's old, this, this is a strong roof. We did a great job. But there are certain sections of tin that aren't actually tin. This is an old, old sheet of material that's supposed to be see-through. It's no longer see-through, but uh, if you step on that, you, you'll fall through, so you gotta be careful. And there's little pieces like that scattered throughout the top of the roof. So you gotta be careful, but they're important because they let light through. But anyway, we got accomplished what we need to get done, so we are getting off the roof. We're gonna get working on that lean-to this afternoon. It is now lunch, so we're gonna head up and eat. But before we do that, Dad left the door open on the chicken pen. Dad did not let the door open. Okay, we're just gonna say it was Dad left the door open for the chicken pen. So we have a few chickens running around here that we're trying to put back, and then it's lunchtime. Okay, I know this is salmon soup, right? So we've got salmon soup, and then we also have warm ham sandwiches. Ooh, sounds good to me. Remember to like this video, and if you haven't yet, subscribe. We're gonna get to work on this lean too, but first we gotta clean up all this trash that we have here. We got the trash cleaned out from underneath our lean-to. Uh, there is a little manure here that we're gonna want to scrape out. Now when we originally built this we put hinges at the back of the lean-to that way we could fold the roof down but because our middle section broke here we never had an opportunity to do that. And usually for winter it's down which is always nice but this year we had round bales stored under it so they wouldn't get wet uh, so we never really needed to put it down. But now that we're done with having stuff stored here and we want to put calves here, we just want to reinforce it so that we don't have to worry about any animals that are underneath it. That's what we like to see. 
as all of you can now see, the lean-to is fixed up. We also added tin to the left side, so that should help to keep the moisture out. So before we had this pretty open, uh, but now with this sheeting along here, it really breaks up the wind that comes through this area. It's gonna make it a lot more comfortable for the calves that we have here. After we got finished bedding up all the cattle, we got them fed for the night, so we're all finished with the animals. Now we're working our way up to the germination greenhouse. We're gonna see how everything's growing up there. In our video where we seeded our first planting of coal crops for the field, I let you know that I was gonna be updating you on how everything was growing, and wait till you see. Right when we walk into the greenhouse, to my right, is where our coal crops start. And let me just say, we have got promising signs here. We have our 70 day cabbage and our 65 day cabbage. Our 65 day variety Charmant is looking really, really good. You can see almost in every cell, we have got a plant that is starting to show. Now, because some seeds were put in at different depths, we don't expect everything to be the same size. But from what we can see, the germination rates are really good. Starting off with our broccoli, we can see almost every single cell has got a plant in it. And this is one of my favorite parts of the year, seeing all these little, little seedlings starting to push out of the soil. So our broccoli is something that's really making me happy. If we just look at this tray itself, there is so many broccoli plants that have sprouted. And I tell you what, I'm amazed at how quickly they've germinated. The plants that have grown the most from the time that we have seeded though, have been the kale. I mean, look at this kale. You can see the beautiful green sprouts pushing out. So now that things are starting to grow a little more, we might have to move things around. But I just wanted to give you a little update on how things have been growing and things are good. And one last thing, I just wanna show you the peppers. Here's some bell peppers that we had seeded. Beautiful. We got sweet cherry, mixed bell. We are now all closed up here in the farm market. We got everything put away. Now we're heading up to the house. Oh. After a long day of work, we have finally made it up into the house for the night. And as you can see, there's no dinner on the table. But that's because it's date night. And since it's date night, that means this is where we're gonna end the video today. I would like to thank everyone for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye Bye-bye. Bye, buddy.